This video will show you different options for repairing your Duratex kayak. For fast and easy repairs in the field, we recommend Tear Aid Type B. Deflate kayak and lay the area to be repaired on a hard flat surface. Clean the area around the hole with solvent. The box comes with alcohol swabs. Let dry completely. The patch should cover at least one inch beyond the hole in every direction. Use scissors to round out the corners of the patch, eliminating corners that can peel up. Peel back the paper backing to expose a section of the adhesive. Align patch and apply pressure. Slowly peel the backing away while applying the patch over the hole. Avoid air bubbles. Press edges to seal and rub patch aggressively. Tear rate adheres 50% on application and 100% after 24 hours. The kayak should be ready to use immediately after applying. AquaSeal is an easy at-home repair for small pinhole leaks. It's a liquid repair that squeezes out of a tube. Clean the area around the hole with a solvent, like rubbing alcohol or acetone. With the kayak deflated, squeeze the liquid over the hole and cover about a half an inch in each direction around the hole. Allow to cure for the time period specified by the manufacturer, usually 8 to 12 hours before inflating. Duratex is reinforced PVC, known as tarpaulin. The strongest and most durable repair is with a patch of the same material. Duratex patches with matching colors can be found in the repair kit that comes with your AquaGlide kayak. Using the correct glue is critical. The AquaGlide repair kit comes with a tube of one part PVC glue. It also includes brushes for application. AquaGlide also sells larger cans of H66 one part glue. Make sure you are in a well ventilated area. Use chemical resistant gloves eye protection, and a respirator designed for chemical fumes. The first step is to deflate the kayak and put the repair area accessible with a hard surface underneath. Cut the PVC patch material using scissors or a razor knife. Round the corners. Square edges can peel up. The patch should cover at least one inch beyond the hole in every direction. For larger tears, you can go up to two inches in every direction. Dry fit the patch and use a pencil or pen to outline the patch. With your solvent, clean the area slightly beyond the line marked by pen. Also, clean the patch. The solvent removes surface oils before sanding. Use medium grit sandpaper to rough up both surfaces. You just want to remove any shine. Do not sand into the fabric. Clean both surfaces with solvent again to remove the sanding residue. An optional step is to lay down masking tape along the edges of the outline. This will keep the glue from spreading beyond the patch and make for cleaner glue lines. Use a small disposable brush or the HH66 applicator brush to apply a thin even layer of glue within the marked patch outline. Also apply glue to the patch. Allow glue to cure briefly for 30 to 60 seconds until the surface glazes slightly. Apply a second coat of glue and allow to dry until tacky. Align the front edge of the patch and use the outline to align the patch. This is contact cement. Once it touches, you cannot remove it. Start at the front edge of the patch and work across the entire area. Use firm pressure with a roller from the center working towards the edges to remove bubbles and improve the bonding process. Allow at least 12 hours before inflating. Follow these tips to repair your AquaGlide products to get back on the water.